Hey guys, it's Chris. I just wanted to very quickly check in and share. It's over 90 degrees today. I've been running for about 15 minutes. I'm on the platform, I'm on the tarmac, barefoot. It's hot enough to fry an egg. And I have a thin bead of perspiration across my head, but I'm not profusely dropping fluid. And there's a couple of reasons for that. The most powerful thing that we can do, and it's difficult when I'm talking, obviously, but nose breathing, it does so much for us. And if that means that you have to slow your pace until you get accustomed to the increased intensity through nose breathing and then layering in another rub of speed, kicking it on a little bit more, and then getting accustomed to it, and then kicking it on a little bit more, and then kicking it on a little bit more. And what that's gonna do, it's going to teach your body to be able to comfortably breathe through the nose without that feeling that you're drowning which is a really big thing. What I want you to get is that during exercise, particularly, but any time at all, when you nose breathe, you're actually getting more of the oxygen into your cells. You get more into your lungs by mouth breathing but it's not as available to your cells as it is if it goes through your nose. The nose is the start of the respiratory system. The mouth is the start of the digestive system. Don't snort your food. Don't eat your air. It's that simple. Breathing out through the mouth is fine. If you breathe out through the nose, you will cool your system more. But if you want the massive benefits of what nose breathing will do for you, always make the effort to at least, at least breathe in through the nose. I'm going to uh, leave you guys with that. And I've been talking slowly to deliberately manage my breathing because it is a very hot day today and I'm probably going at least five miles but I just wanted to share that so I'll cover more on the benefits of nose breathing as part of the Indomitus the pathways to what you uh, want to achieve so stay with me for a minute just to show you that it's real, I'm going to stop talking. It forces you to slow your breath and on an energetic level it actually takes you within. When you mouth breathe the mouth breathing takes you outside of yourself which is the last space you want to be when you're like in a place like this. 
when you're in 90 plus degree heat or 30 minus degree the last place you want to be is outside of yourself because the conditions will overwhelm you and a last point don't clench your jaw just keep it relaxed otherwise you'll end up with a tension headache Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.